Hi guys, obviously you can tell that I'm not here today, but have no fear, I will be back tomorrow. Not a big deal, I just had something I had to take care of. Okay, so today you guys are gonna use the stuff that you have been working on for the past week to start in on your actual design. Remember, this final product is what we watched in that video, that little scaled model where it's got all of the different pieces, it's colored, it's 3D, it is just a miniature set. So that is our end goal for this project. Now, I do not want you guys to be thinking about that right now. We are at least two weeks out from having that finished. We're not even gonna start on that, probably not even until next week. So have no fear, you guys don't have to worry about that yet. What we're gonna start on today is I'm gonna walk you through the first three steps of that process. The very first step, if you guys remember back to the beginning of the semester, think about it for a second. What was the very first thing you do before you started a design? Okay, I'll give it to you. It's create a mood board. So the first step is creating a mood board. And before that, actually, a pre-step is figuring out what you're doing. Hopefully, last week, you guys figured out what book, TV show, movie, whatever it is that you guys wanted to do. So you are going to be creating a floor plan, which remember that's the bird's eye view. You're going to be creating a front view, which we haven't talked about yet. You're going to be creating some sketches, a mood board, and then finally at the end is going to be the model. So the steps go in this order. You figure out what show you're going to do. You create a mood board. You create at least three sketches of that show. Those sketches are those five minute sketches. So all together, you shouldn't be spending more than 15 minutes on those sketches. So five minute sketches, those can either be of what you imagine the set looking like, or they can be what you would imagine it looking like if it were in real life. So those can be 3D, those can be top view, they can be front view, they can be whatever view. It's just getting something from your brain onto paper. Then from there, you start making real decisions and you create your floor plan. That's what I had you guys practicing on last week. But now that you have practiced that, I'm gonna start teaching you guys the technical specific aspects of a floor plan. That means we're gonna be using rulers, we're gonna be measuring, we're gonna be doing scales. We're gonna talk about what scales are, but basically that means if your door is four feet tall, then in your drawing, your door is still gonna be four feet tall. And if you compare that to a table that's three feet tall, your four foot tall door and your three foot tall table are going to be proportional. We will walk through how to do that because it's a little confusing to do, but don't stress about that. We'll do that in class. After your floor plan, you have your front view. It's the exact opposite. Floor plan is flat, but it's looking down. Front view is flat, but it's looking forward. And the main thing with a front view is we want to see what your walls look like. So that includes doors, windows. If there's like a big platform or something, we want to be able to see what that platform looks like but that's just so we can see what it looks like from the front. Then from there, you're gonna put, basically, you're gonna put your floor plan and you're gonna put your front view together and they're gonna create a 3D model. Then that's whenever you're gonna really focus on like creating all of the 3D stuff, coloring it, figuring out the details, the furniture, the rugs, all of that goes in at that point. So don't get overwhelmed. I know that's a lot, but I'm gonna walk you through each individual step of it. So last week, you should have been thinking about some of your sketches, so that should already be kind of in your mind. But today, you are gonna be creating your mood board. This needs to have at least 15 pictures. At least 15 pictures. You can do this any way that makes sense to you. I taught you a lot of ways. You can either do it on Adobe Spark, Remember how we created a collage there with your facial expressions and stuff? So you can do a Adobe Spark, or you can also do it on the Photos app, like I had you guys do whenever you were um, putting together your mood boards last time, and then you can just screenshot it. 
Or if you have a totally different collage app that you really like, I'm fine with you doing it there too. But it has to be something that you can get me on Google Classroom. Don't do it somewhere on your phone that you can't get it to me. Make sure that you're using something that I can receive. So 15 pictures that are gonna go through and they are gonna give me an idea of what you imagine your show looking like. Remember, color, shape, texture. If I'm doing The Lion King, I'm not gonna have 15 pictures of lions and teeth and a bird. I'm gonna have fur, I'm gonna have a sunset, I'm gonna have a block of yellow, a block of orange, a block of brown. I'm gonna have all of those different shapes, like a circle maybe for the sun, or like a jagged point for the rock. So, as you're going through, color, shape, texture, 15 pictures in a collage that you can either screenshot or download and upload to Google Classroom. Remember, when you're doing that, you have to go through Google Drive first. Upload a new thing to Google Drive. If you do not remember how to do that, go to the Classwork tab of Google Classroom, and there are instructions right there. Then, once you have your mood board finished, if you did not already do sketches of your design last week, now's the time to do that. You're gonna create three different five minute sketches. Those sketches should be different from each other. Don't give me three sketches of the same thing. This is for you to brainstorm different ideas. Figure out what works, figure out what doesn't work, experiment with it, try different things. If you don't like it, cross it out, start a new one, no harm, no foul. And as you're going through, you can be taking pictures of those as you go, or you can do it at the end. And those pictures and your mood board are gonna be uploaded to Google Classroom. If you have time, you can start thinking about your floor plan and making some of those decisions. But don't stress about the technical aspect because we will go over that the next time you guys are in class. So today, mood board, sketches. If you have time, start making real decisions. And we will go over that next time you're in class. If you have any questions, you know that you can send me an email. I will answer that. But tomorrow when you're home, this is also going to be what you're doing at home. So make sure that you are giving me a lot of thought and a lot of details. Remember last week when I said, I don't want you to be right. I want you to be thoughtful. That's what this comes back to. Give me lots of thought. Don't make it perfect. I never expect perfection. I expect for you to be thinking about things and showing me what's happening in your brain. That's the goal for today. Send me questions if you need me. Have a fabulous day, and I'll see you guys next time you're in class.